start with this mini movie news talking about the things I'm least excited for to most excited for. Um, the first one is Night House, which this is a Fox Searchlight film, which this is a new horror movie from them. Uh, this just came out with a trailer. And I'm not hearing a lot of people talk about this trailer. And, um, and I can see why. It's not that interesting of a trailer. It's kind of just looks like a standard horror movie. But we will see Fox Searchlight films are usually at least always interesting. They usually are, they're not made with a lot of money behind them. Um, you know, so they're usually more focused on being made by really talented creatives who know how to make great movies. And, um, usually anyway. So this one, this is what I'm interested in. It says it comes out in theaters in July. Um, I'm not really sure about that because Nomadland, that came out on Hulu, um, this year. And that was a Fox Searchlight film that just won a bunch of awards. was very, very successful for Hulu. And I think, um, you know, with Disney trying to figure out what films should we put out in theaters, what films should we not? If they want to save a little bit of money and make maybe a little bit more, putting films like this on Hulu would be a good move. So I, I'm hoping that they do put this one on Hulu, uh, but we will see what happens with that. Uh, we don't know for sure if that one's going to come to Hulu. Um, it seems like for right now it's head to theaters. If, it, if my theaters are open when that film comes out in July, I will definitely be checking that one out. Um, it looks interesting. Um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. Definitely should not have chugged that so quickly, but there we go. And then the next film uh, we wanted to talk about the trailer for, we have another trailer for the Sp Spiral, the Book of Saul. This is interesting because... Basically, with the first Saw movie, they were made so cheap that they could just keep making them every year. And that's what they did. And they got worse and worse and made less sense. And they had bigger twists. And they, I don't know. The, the Saw franchise is not one I've been to. I've never really um, been too into them. Um, I was thinking about reviewing them from the channel. But, like, the thought of just watching them to me does not sound fun. Because I'm not that into the franchise. I like the first one and bits of the second one and bits of the third one, but just, yeah, I'm not too into them. I might still do that before the Book of Saul comes out, but what's interesting about this, this is a passion project from Chris Rock. It's, I, I don't know if he's going to make it work. Um, you know, he, he was in the Witches movie on HBO Max, which he was terrible in. Did not fit that film at all, and it looks like he once again does not fit the film that he's um, a part of, so I don't know. He's more of a comedic actor. I mean, he has a very comedic voice, so it's kind of hard for me to watch Chris Rock in a dramatic role because all I think about, man, that's Marty the Zebra from Madagascar, you know? So I don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this one turns out. I do not have high hopes for him. Or, but I'm optimistic about it because it's a film that's a passion project in the Saw franchise, which it might be a refresher that that franchise kind of needs right now. As someone who's not been a fan of that franchise, I'm still going to keep my expectations lowered. Don't know if I will be checking this one out, but we will see. Um, yeah. So, the next thing I want to talk about is um, Rick and Morty Season 5. And now this got a release date. Um, I think it was... I'm forgetting the release date. But we also got a trailer for Season 5. Um, which I think Season 5 comes out in May. If I'm, I can't remember. But, um, you know, you can look up that release date. It's everywhere now. But... Um, the trailer looked good, um, you know, it's, I, I, I don't take Rick and Morty trailers too seriously because my thought with the trailers are the Rick and Morty trailers. The Rick and Morty trailers are always a trick. Um, you know, last year they put out some trailers for the back half of Rick and Morty season four 
and people were seriously mad that a lot of that stuff didn't happen because it was all fake footage from an episode and that was on purpose it was meant to screw with fans and it was a cool it was a great subversion but a lot of people weren't happy about that but does it really matter you know as long as the show's well written and it's funny it's entertaining I don't really see the point of that but you know but yeah, I'm excited for the show to come back. I'll probably not be covering it every week, but I will be, um, but I will be watching it week to week. So I don't know, maybe I will, but I will have a review out every um, every uh, uh, every season. So when season five probably wraps up, I'll definitely have a review for season five on the main channel. If you want to know my thoughts on the earlier seasons of this show, um, seasons one through four, you can check that out. And I also just talked about Solar Opposites. It was kind of nice to get some more news about Rick and Morty. So as soon as I was done with Solar Opposites, I'm like, man, I want more of that kind of stuff. And Rick and Morty's coming back. So it's kind of like, yes. Um, and then uh, we got another trailer for The Bad Batch. Look really good. Um, didn't get re me really more excited than I already was because I was just already excited. Um, but, uh, we did find out that the first episode drops on May the 4th, which we knew that, um, we knew that it was dropping on May the 4th. May the 4th is, uh, if you don't know, like a Star Wars holiday, like it sounds like May the 4th. So, so they call it May the 4th and it's a Star Wars holiday. So Disney plus likes to drop stuff. Well, the Bad Batch first episode we found out it was going to be a 70 minute episode. So it's an hour and 10 minute long episode, which that's a um, pretty sizable length for a first episode, which is pretty interesting. So cannot wait for that. And then that following Friday, we will have a new episode of the Bad Batch and then one new episode every Friday after that. So that's going to be really cool. I'm going to be talking about the Bad Batch every single week as that show premieres. Very, very excited about that show. I know there's going to be a lot of buzz about it. I know a lot of people are very excited about it. So people love the Clone Wars. I don't think it's going to be as successful as the Clone Wars, but I think it's going to be something special for sure. So. So that's it, that's it for this mini movie, new gu movie news, guys. You can guys can uh, like, share, and subscribe. Do all that, and I'll see you guys next time.